Hi guys, um, in this video you can actually, instead of watching it, you can actually go to my website where I discuss in a blog post exactly what I'm about to tell you in this video. So if you don't want to watch and you'd rather read, click on the link in the description below and it'll take you directly to the blog post. Alright, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm actually just taking some time out from another video that I'm currently making at the moment. Um, today is Sunday um, and I think it's the 6th of May. Yeah, it's the 6th of May and it's whoa, half past five in the morning. And um, basically, right, this is a video that I'm doing on the back of some questions that um, some of my subscribers have asked me and um, it's basically why or do relationships while on the road becoming a digital nomad are they an advantage or do they hinder you and your progress towards becoming a digital nomad and um, this is going to be a raw video so this is just me sharing my experiences with you off the top of my head and um, oh by the way I'm in Victoria Canada, British Columbia, I'm down at the harbour, this is where I am, you can see around me there. Um, but I think essentially relationships from personal experience, none of my relationships while I've been travelling have worked out um, and that's because when I started travelling I wasn't as committed as I am now to becoming a digital nomad and so my attention was all over the place and I found that as soon as something comes along um, I'm easily distracted and so when women come along especially if I happen to like that woman I would um, sp spend my time um, in developing that relationship and then because they didn't work out in the end I ended up wasted, wasting my time and I think one thing that I also discovered from those past relationships as well is that the reason why they didn't work out was because they didn't have any of the values that I share. Even though I wasn't as focused as I should have been, I still wanted to become a digital nomad and I still had that ambition to, to change the way that I was doing, but I just didn't have that focus. And uh, the, ultimately, the people that I was in a relationship with they didn't have the drive or the ambition to succeed in life they were quite happy just doing you know their jobs whatever they were doing whether that was retail or whether that was some other store job or whatever and they just didn't have that you know they didn't they didn't understand why i was doing youtube they thought that was weird why I was filming everything, um, they they just didn't get it. Like they just didn't understand why I had to post to social media all the time, and they didn't um, understand why I had to edit for like um, like fourteen hours a day sometimes. Um, edit videos, sorry, fourteen hours a day. Um, and it was, they just didn't get it, they, they didn't appreciate what I was trying to strive for, what I was trying to build and that ultimately led it to me finding it difficult to continue doing what I was doing and sometimes I actually gave up what I was doing just to make them happy um, and then in the end, in the long run, it doesn't really work out so um, it doesn't really happen anyway and then you have to go back to where you left off and it's just a, a complete waste of time. So one thing that I have um, done recently is sort of eliminated uh, women out of my life um, until the foreseeable future. And that is because I want to meet someone who actually shares the values that I live by and actually wants or is like-minded you know like-minded someone who is um, willing to um, go all in with you um, and who also um, quite want quite likes the fact of living a digital nomad lifestyle who's actually wanting to live that lifestyle as well as a good 
a good thing, that's a bonus if you can find someone who actually um, wants to do what you're doing as well and it's very difficult, um, it's tough to find that kind of person who wants to do stuff like that because most people are, um, uh, most people like being comfortable so they, they don't like to, uh, they don't like to put their life on the line, they don't like to put their um, immediate situation, their, the, the, they don't like to get uncomfortable in the short term for a long term gain so um, yeah I think finding someone who is on the same path as you is vital and I haven't found that and that's why my relationships um, have not worked in the past and um, I think that's something that's very important to me is someone who is wanting to do that lifestyle or is supportive of me wanting to do that lifestyle even though they're not wanting to do that lifestyle i think that's very important there's nothing worse feeling like you're weird or you're crazy um, around the people that are that are supposed to support you um but not only that it, like see when you're on this journey right and you're trying to develop a new lifestyle, one that isn't very common. One thing that I've noticed from experience is that fa family, trying to convince your family that this is something that is legit and is worthwhile and is, is worth putting the amount of effort that actually goes into it um, is very hard. It's, you know, people think you're crazy. Like, people really do. Like, people think you're this weirdo like why the hell are you doing what you're doing and and and, and you know what to, to be honest um, it doesn't affect me as much now um, I still get a little bit nervous when I'm filming in public and stuff but um, I think you know that I think that just comes with the territory but as, at the end of the day I think of what I'm trying to say is you got you just gotta you gotta not spend so much time convincing people and spending time with people who don't have or don't share the values that you're trying to live by or and aren't striving for the lifestyle that you want to live and I think it's um, I think for me it's just about getting on with what you've got to get on with and the, the right people will come into your life no matter what and um, when they come into your life be ready for that and, and notice that and, and really um, build that relationship because I think they're few and far between. I think it's very difficult to find someone who shares, um, especially a romantic partner who shares the values, especially because you know the digital nomad community is quite big, but it's very sparse. Um, it's very sort of like spread out. Um, so unless you're in a place where there's a lot of digital nomads, it's very difficult to sort of meet uh, potential life partners and stuff like that. So um, I think f while you're starting out, if you're like me, I think it's just better to avoid that, avoid spending time there and avoid wasting your time there and just develop what you've got to develop. And then when you have something tangible that you've worked for and that you've, that you've built over time, I think um, you'll naturally attract the right people into your life. Um, so that's what I'm working towards now and um, I hope that answers your question. Uh, that's why my relationships haven't worked out so far. And um, yeah, if you've got any other questions then leave them down below. If I've missed anything and you want me to come back and elaborate on a certain thing, leave a comment below. If you like the content that I make here and you want to come back and see more of the content that I upload in the future, then please subscribe. Um, click on the bell next to the subscribe button as well so that you're notified when I upload a video. Um, so you don't miss it. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.